Yep, Augusta. It's nonstop traffic back and forth. It's beautiful. It's almost like I would get a better view from across the street. It's three units right now. You can clearly tell it's three units. No exterior would look like that for a single family home. The plan was to keep Augusta three units because of the location. There were some positives. I love this. I love the stained glass. Looks like it's in really good shape. Beautiful detail around each window. I want to see inside. That's the big ticket. But once you got inside, there were so many negatives. Definitely didn't look like a body, so that's good. There's nothing cool about it. That's cool. This is very Wizard of Oz. Oh my God, what happened in here? Somebody definitely didn't care at all about ruining this place. Oh my gosh. What did they do? This, this is a like nightmare. The rest of the units were normal. Two bedroom, two bath. The only major change was installing the new stairs on the outside with decks and taking down the garage for three parking spots. Oh my God, that's a nightmare too. Okay, well, this is different. This has a ton of opportunity for us to make some real money. We ended up buying Augusta for $560,000. Donovan told me it was gonna cost $500,000 to renovate all three units. And the plan once we rent all three units was to sell the building as a whole for 1.5 million. So that brings me to where I am now. I own this building with this person and there still is no communication. Donovan and Augusta has a 12 month loan, which means this project needs to be done in 12 months. The sooner I can get Augusta done, I'll learn from it and move on from it. I'm working with my team, and that's something that I'm really fortunate to have. I would never have built Augusta if there wasn't a great opportunity here. And the reason is, is because I'm gonna sell it as a whole. So renting those units out is very important and getting those long-term leases in place. This place is gonna demand a higher rent. I expect to get about 2,700 per unit. Well, once it hits the market, what can I really get? And we don't know that yet. This is the last property that I own with Donovan. So there is a really crazy emotion that I'm feeling. This is where I just have to prove that I have a unique approach to offer the development world by building new homes that embrace and appreciate the, the history in Chicago. This building was built in 1887. So it is old school. And now to refresh it with new windows, keeping the original stained glass headers for each unit, the beautiful cornice at the top, and all of the lentil details on top of each window. And then adding lighting to the exterior, I think is very important. Couple things and all of a sudden it feels like a new building. I think that you don't want to change what's not broken. So the floor plan worked, keep it the same. I really wanted something that was going to feel like you can have you know, college students in here or brand new parents in here. And then have fun where you can. Each family room is gonna get this really cool antique globe light. And that is gonna pop the colors of that existing stained glass in the front. Putting an accent wall covering, textured wallpaper in wood grain, it's really going to give it a lot of depth. And even though I'm doing the same wallpaper style, I change up the color in each unit. An accent wall, in my opinion, should never just be paint. It's too boring. Bring in texture, bring in color at the same time, and just bring in something that's gonna create depth. Each kitchen has a full-size island, big single basin sink, gunmetal appliances, and glass front cabinets that allow you to see that tile backsplash behind them. Ari's gonna do a built-in for each unit. The paint color I'm gonna choose is going to be inspired by the stained glass piece that I'm putting into some old doors, and those doors are going to be for the hallway bathrooms. It's customizing in a rental, and you typically don't get that. Renters appreciate the fixtures and finishes because that's what's gonna set me apart from other buildings. Even the bathrooms are gonna get individual looks and feels because of the tiles that we're gonna choose. Now we've got three parking spaces out back, those are optional. So to have a backyard space and the parking, so ideal. You want a place where you can hang out. There's a lot of opportunity back there and that's what I really like. And I want renters to feel like this is more of that home feel, not just an apartment. Today is demo day and I need people that work. I need artists and artisans and subcontractors that get things done. Manu, Johnny, Naftali, come on, guys. Johnny, help them. 
Darren, I want to see this wall down. Yeah. Okay. The inside, we're gutting this thing. We're taking it down. We could say demo start on Monday and it'll be done Friday. I mean, this one's gonna be, I, I really do feel like this is a four to five monther. How much is this? Al Capone made that. How much is it? 600. $600? You got 525 written on here. I was close. Can I just have this? Are you nuts? I'm dead serious. All right, we'll think about it. Okay, we'll park on thinking about it. Okay, wrap this up. I heard that. <sighs> Hunting for Augusta. Three units, rentals. The rental unit game is strong. So how can I set myself apart when it comes to the design, but still appeal to the masses? The transoms on all the windows for each level are stained glass and they're original. So I'm inspired to try to bring back a little bit of that stained glass on the interior in a different way. What's up with this poor thing? Damage. Real huh. damaged, huh? Do you yes. know where it's from? From a cabinet, uh, arts and crafts home, probably 1920, 25. It's so unusual. This here's mirrored gold sandwich glass. This gold reflective mirrored glass is something I haven't seen before. So the building was built in 1887. Mm -hmm. Every unit has a stained glass window. So I thought old powder room doors that I could retrofit and put these in as panels. You know, to have a little history in there. I need two more because there's three units. They don't have to look anything like this because each unit should be very separate. Mm -hmm. Like this guy, look at that. I mean, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then I just need one more. Ooh, look at this one. The challenge with Augusta is that it's on a very busy street. We do not have street access, so it's all about ripping down that garage, entering through the back. It's challenging, but it's also a bonus because we don't have to rebuild that back garage. With that gone, the framing materials are delivered, and finally, we can get this house framed. I'm finally digging out of this and it's like it's moving, but it's just, it's not easy. I have no money. I have no energy left to keep this fight going. I'm hitting the end. So for me, it's all about staying focused, staying strong. I have to make sure that this gets built to make everyone whole again. I have to get this on the market and I know that I will get through this. In the back, Ehrman's guys are getting ready to start the addition. The addition, excavation, actually tearing down the porch, and then excavation for the new addition with footing foundation wall to start the brick. The rear addition is finally up. Framing on two of the units was done mechanical, electrical, and plumbing rough in, and there's just one more unit to do. The next thing that happens is we can start doing drywall. And that's when things really start going, you know, the whole thing. And so it's like, we're just two steps away. The roof is coming off tomorrow. It's moving as fast as it possibly can, given the circumstances. A bright spot with the Augusta project are these beautiful stained glass powder room doors. So I am off on a road trip. Today I'm at Ari's farm slash house slash workshop. Welcome. He moved out to Wisconsin and has the coolest property. Augusta is three separate apartments and each one has this nook that we added in the kitchen. I wanted something special and he's the one to make that come to life. Okay, so is this part of it? Yeah, that's one of the base units. Okay, scale wise though, that gives me a good idea. I mean, it's pretty wide. Yeah. This really is that accent wall type thing. Yeah, it's more like a display piece. There'll be different colors, different. It's all reclaimed wood, so I think you want to see a little bit of the grain. And then the other two, we can make them out of uh, veneers and plywood. Super okay. inexpensive and just yeah. simple. One unit's going to be made out of reclaimed wood, so we're going to stain that. And then the other two, we're going to paint them. And I'm going to take a color that I love most in each stained glass door, and I'm going to pull that into the unit. There are three units 
There are three doors. Each one is getting a different piece of stained glass. Ari's gonna finish the doors and then bring them back to Chicago when they're ready to install. Back at Augusta, the flooring is going down. Next, cabinets got dropped. The last time I used this veneer, I coupled it with a high gloss white cabinet. And this time I wanted to do it with a black cabinet. I know a lot of people might think, oh, it's a small space. Why would you go with such a dark color? Well, if you do it the right way, it won't feel heavy. These rentals have to be right up there. Two bedroom, two bath. Hopefully we can get 3,000 a month. I'm going with faux turf for Augusta. Ultimately, the goal is to sell the entire building. I want a buyer to walk in and be like, I will pay 1.6 million for this. So what they look at first and foremost is what are the expenses? And you don't want landscaping to be one of them. I've eliminated that as a line item. That's a zero cost every month. So you spend a little more up front, but you actually save more over time. And that's what people who are looking to buy a building, that's what they want to see. Okay, unit one. Wow. I cannot believe this is the same place. His eyes are going everywhere and noticing all of these focal points that I was hoping he would. What is going on here? Is this wallpaper? Oh, yeah. Each unit oh, you'll but see. It's textured. Okay, yeah. great. This is scrubbable wash. It's I mean, great. Old fixtures from an old, iconic Chicago car wash. Upscale, a little more sophisticated, but still young and fun. Yeah. And then you come into the kitchen. Full upgrade on this appliance package. Oh, I yeah. love the gunmetal. Spent a little more on cabinets because I thought it was worth it. But again, they're durable. Yeah, everything so. feels like because it feels expensive in here. Floors are low maintenance. Wider plank, darker finish. They look great. I had Ari come in and do these units. So these built-ins add more storage. The reason I chose the green is because it pulled out this green. Yes. Which yes. this is an old window. I've been dying to talk about this. This is the star of the room. This is going to provide something that's not out there right now for renters. People are really more into finishes now than ever because okay. we've had a lot of these high-end rental buildings that came in and they're all new. But those are all the same and this is totally different. That's what we bring to the table. Okay, so second unit. Ooh, fancy. Different backsplash, yeah. different wall covering color, and then different finish over here on this built-in. Lush. That's the color. This I tied in to this blush tone. Look at the yeah. light from here. In essence, the same layout, the same feel, but there's so much to look at. OK, third unit, so top. All right. Cool color on that wall. Isn't that fun? You are on top of the roof line here, in the sky. The light, I think. The lighting's beautiful. They all look very different. And then you come into the kitchen. Open shelving, more storage, and then again, we're pulling the blues. I just feel like renters are going to appreciate this type of character. Feels nice. This one I staged as a nursery. Little fun, little play here on the floor, little throwback, and then your classic subway tile. And you've got the master. You've got plenty of room for a really big dresser, your TV, the closet door goes in. Ah. Uh, Hexagon tile, little upgrade on that reeded looking tile. Yeah, it's cool. We bought Augusta for 560000 The beginning renovation cost that Donovan budgeted for was 500000 The real costs at the end were 807700 So when you look at carpentry costs, and then all of the closing costs, property tax, and fees, that was over what he budgeted. If we sell for $1.5 that will make a profit of 132300 We immediately got a renter at $2,800, fully furnished, 
and they got one of the parking spaces for $200. So that means we're a third of the way to renting out this building. And even one tenant, one lease, looks really appealing to potential buyers.